Hello and welcome back, friends and family, to Ratchet and Clank. It has been a while. Now we're at the space station of weird and weird and stuff. There's a lot of routes here to take, and yes, we are back. As I said, after like a month or two, I will be expl explaining that. Explaining that, that is the word I'm looking for. Let's actually start by looking at the vendors. It's something new. Indeed there is. The Taunter. Let's get that. It doesn't use ammo, so that's good. And that is required to get a gold bolt later in the game. Just so that I'll say that now. Let's take this route first. Okay. So what we're exploring, we got the... Uh, the, uh, the, the, the with the teddy bear that we got here. I'm just trying to refresh myself because, as I said, I haven't no not the suck cannon, the the, the parasiter. There we go. Um, as I said, I haven't played this since like the, the I paused the let's play because my capture card broke, and I had to wait for I don't have money, so I had to, you know, the hope I got one for my birthday, which I did. But then I was all cut up in Let's Playing Portal and uh, and all that, so it still took a while. But hey, we're back now! And that is the thing that matters. Okay, we do not want to touch those. Can we just talk about how stupid this gun is that this guy uses? He shoots a wave down at the floor, which I can just jump over, man. You, you, you ain't got nothing. Frogs of doom and destruction and death. And over here we have something that we can unlock with the key thing we got in the earlier level. <laughs> These will become much, much harder when we get a bit far further into the game. I think that's it. We should position these. Is that... There we go. Not too hard. Oh god, they hide in boxes. I am so scared of that. It's terrifying. So, a thing about this level is like, there's a lot, there's three routes you can take, um, but there is only uh, two gold bolts, only which of one you can grab while you're here the first time, which I will grab and you'll see it on screen because that's how this works. If you haven't figured that out, what, what, why did it take so long for you to figure out? Wait, don't I have the, yeah I do, but I pressed the... Oh, right. I've been playing other video games. So it's like I hold, I held on to the X. Oh shit! I'm about to die. Um, I held on to the X button to like flutter, flutter down. Which maybe that's just not in this game, and maybe in later games. I don't know. Also, this is on the PlayStation 3, and I've been playing Fallout 4 for the like last week non-stop on the PS4 which makes it really weird to come back to the controls and the controller in general of ah don't of the PS3 which yeah, it's a little wonky it's very light um, if you get a if you if you compare oh hey guy um um hey guy goodbye I'm gonna kill you there we go you are now dead. You freak lab experiment. Hello, sir. I wish for you to die. There we go. He fell on his back and... On the... Okay. Why is the, the shading so weird here? Oh, that is not the thing that I want. This is the thing that I want. I splatter and die, all you fools. All of you fools shall die by the power of the Parasita. The Parasita shall burn you. Cook you like a little, little children you are. You are small children. Okay, that... <laughs> that sounds not very friendly. No, does it? I am sorry about that. Okay, let's just... Ammo. Which ammo? We got the Parasita ammo. Which is useful. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Where do we? We need I more. Some great for you today. Let's fill up. This is very annoying. 
this is fixed in later oh, games where you have to like select an ammo type and then fill it up manually. Um, in the second game, the you don't have to fill it manually, but you do have to like um, go through the weapons. And okay, I'm just running away at this point. Don't come near me. Okay, blow up this dude. Okay, doesn't die by one bomb glove. Okay, I would. It's a bomb. It's a small bomb. Die. There we go. Stop touching me. Stranger danger. Don't touch me. That is not the gun I wanted, but that apparently worked. Okay. No, don't get stuck, man. So up here, if you go through this. Okay. Did, mm, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Yay, gold bolt. There you go. Secret tunnel in the secret tunnel. In the secret tunnel. I don't know the lyrics to that. Oh, and also we have a little, little pod here that we'll figure out how to use later in the game. There's a lot of backtracking in this game, like, but it is in a good way. Because you're not obligated to. You just... You can do it if you want. As with the golden bo gold bolts, for the most part. Okay, can we get up here? Because I see boxes, and boxes means money. And I have to have all of the riches. Because if I don't have all of the riches, then I cannot buy weapons. And if I can't buy weapons, I can't slaughter my enemies. And if I can't slaughter my enemy, <laughs> And if I can't slaughter my... Sl bleh, slaughter my enemies, then I won't be a happy rabbit. Longbax. Guy. Okay? Okay. Okay, we got too many of these guys here. Double bomb glove. You're dead. Double bomb glove. And you're dead. And frog guys, leave me alone, please. I do not like your patronage. Okay. Blow that up. Actually, I think... Is it able to cheat this? I think it is. If we... Because we basically have to go around this way. But if we can zoom in and move a little over here, move a little closer, there we go. There, we can cheat the whole thing. And that is speedrun tactics for all you speedrunners. But as I have said before, Ratchet and Clank is not a game too. Don't touch me, stranger. Dead. Okay, I'm dead. Is that the first death? I feel like that was the first death. But I don't really know because I haven't played this game in a long time. I did watch a little bit of the first four parts before starting this recording. So I'm like a little down the hand of, of the mood and stuff and the somber thing about this let's play. I'm just I'm just cool, calm and collected. And guidance. Wait, did since I died did it like not register that I collected the, the gold bolt? Can we get up there? Thank you. These guys are here. Nope. And the boxer. Okay, 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 okay. Nope. That is not how we like to deal with things here at Octoxy Incorporated. Die. Oh, and these walls stay off as well. So maybe we can do it from this. Oh, that was three. There we go. And maybe this is possible. Oh. There we go. And now we don't need to deal with this pesky guy. We can just walk right into a boss. Yes, this is a boss. It's a big guy. And there is a skill point to be earned here if you kill him with just the wrench. But as I've said... Okay. Maybe I shouldn't talk. Maybe I should be concentrating on the boss. Actually, let's... Da! Friends, help me out, little robot friends. Attack him. Attack him directly. Like you play Yu-Gi-Oh. There you go. Now he calls on his friends. That's, that's fair, I guess. There we go. Kill all of the frogs. Kill all of the frog people. And back to the glove of doom. Doom, destruction, and more, even more death than you could possibly imagine. Okay, get on him. Get on him. Really? That wasn't... Touch his butt. There you go. 
I killed one of the, the one of his minions immediately. Like in the cutscene, that was pretty cool. Okay, get on him! Get on him! And kill him! Kill him with your mad power of your kamikaze attacks, dude! I see you under him. There we go. Yay! We did it! Dun dun! We gotta collect all of the ammos and the coins. No, not coins. This is Mario. Hell, you're talking about? This is Ratchet and Clank. You collect bolts. I mean, bolts are more valid currency than coins. Come on, man. Get your facts straight. God damn. And I think we'll meet a familiar face if yeah, they drop down here and then. Hey, guy. You, you, you need some help? Hey, Teddy guy. You, you seem to be in quite the predicament. You need some help? Just ask. I can bail you out. That's how I do. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Let's help him out. Parasita for the win! Die, please. There you go. I was a goner this time. Some nano wit in genetics must have that is not the voice he had in the the well, holotape, tape. No, goddamn for for respect if you ask me. You know what I mean, Infobot. So you are an inventor, gadget engineer. I create revolutionary devices for Executive Chairman Drek. For instance, Viola, my soon-to-be patented grind boot. Awesome. Look, I, I I need to get out of here so I can find a new job. How about I sell you these? We just oh, saved your life. Sell? After we just saved your yeah. scrawny butt? All right, all right. I'll give you the employee discount. Too. It doesn't freaking... Mm, fine. Well, thanks. I'm going to get out of here while I still can. Bye, ass face. Goddamn. All of the NPCs are so greedy in this game. All they want is bolts. All they want. They all want the riches. I mean, I shouldn't come. I shouldn't like judge because <laughs> that's kind of what I want to. I mean, all the riches. That's the best thing. Now we have the grind boots. We can grind on rails with our boots. Count self explanatory. So I shouldn't have to explain more than that. And we can pick up some singles here. I just realized what would be a really awesome crossover like Batman and Ratchet and Clank. Because now that I said singles, I just thought of the line from the Bat Tim Burton's Batman. You know, what do you want? My face on the one dollar bill. So, uh, I, I just would like that. I mean, that would be awesome. Like, Ratchet is Batman. Clank is, I don't know, Alfred. Yeah, yeah. Let's go this. Now we can play as only Clank. This is the first time, I think, in the game that we can do that. And this is the most tedious thing in the game. Um, because, to be honest, the Clank parts are always my least favorite thing about Ratchet and Clank games. Except, ironically enough, for there was a game on uh, uh, the PSP, which I only bought because it had Ratchet and Clank games. I mean, dude, Ratchet and Clank was my jam. I didn't play any other games. Kind of. I played, I played Pokemon. And, I mean, yeah, you know, stuff that you kind of have to play when you're a kid. But you know, Ratchet Clank was my jam. So when I realized that it would come in a new handheld co console with Ratchet and Clank, um, I was like, eh, money. I I am a kid. I don't have money, but I really want to play Ratchet and Clank. So I got the PSP and Ratchet & Clank Size Matters and was deeply disappointed. I mean, at the time, I don't think I was because I was just so excited to get a new Ratchet & Clank game because at, at the time we only, in quotation marks, only had four Ratchet & Clank games. We had this one, Going Commando, the third one, and Gladiator, as it's called here in Europe. Um, which, out of those three, the least favorite was Gladiator for me, because it just felt like, yeah, travel here and 
do 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 things. Um, not much exploring. It was more like gauntlets, kinda, which I felt was like meh. But now looking back at the game, I haven't played the game in quite a while actually because I sold my. I haven't played it since I got my PS3 because I got my PS3 because I got money after selling my PS2. And also there's a gold bolt up there. If you can see that over there. Yeah. Which we have to get later. Um, so yeah. Uh, I Because the gladiator wasn't... wasn't um, also... Uh, HD... In the HD collection. For some reason. I mean, why? I don't really know. Maybe it's because it's the HD trilogy. I know. Okay. This guy, we can't get past this guy, so we just have to, oh my god, the level design, money, I have to follow the singles here, oh my god, oh, there are pods here, with small creatures, if I break these open, stuff maybe will happen, oh my god, they are following me, this is amazing, but wait, can I use them in some way, how do ratchet use weapons, you push triangle, oh my god, there's an attack button. Oh, okay, wait, wait. There's an attack button. And they can attack for me. And there we go. I always did like that part that it actually, like, you you can try to go take on the thing, but it won't work out well for you. There's nothing up here. It won't work out well for you. Um, so you just explore a little bit, and it's just behind the corner. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. See, stuff like that, like, those exploratory things aren't, like, there in Gladiator. You just follow, like, straight lines and stuff, which I was, like, preferred more, I guess, <laughs> in when I, was, when I was a kid, which more now I am more pro-open world and exploring and exploring. Um, but when I was a kid, I, I mean... <laughs> Everybody wants to explore. This is just a fact. And I felt like the level design of the first three Ratchet & Clank games still followed you on a path, but if you strayed off of it, you could find more bolts, more enemies, and all that kinds of stuff, which just was more fun. Even if you do follow a straight line, which you do. But I mean, in Gladiator, you have this announcer that well, you have to do this to progress, and blah 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 blah. blah. Which I mean, I still like Gladiator a lot. Actually, the boss fights are real fun, um, and the characters, of course. But I mean, it's it's still a good game. It's still a good game, of course. It's not a bad game at all sense, but it just strayed off a little bit from the from the formula of the game. Okay. I just looked at the time. I've been rambling on for quite a bit. <laughs> I just talked through that cutscene. But hey, that's just a theory. A game theory. Ha 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 ha. References to other YouTube channels. Okay. <laughs> but that's going to be it for this episode of Ratchet Clank. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. I'll see you next time.